Hi guys, this is the second Dolce Gabbana look um, and Scarlett jo Johansson is the um, protagonist and this is a soft eye color, soft brown concentrated on the external part with some taupe, no uh, shimmer whatsoever and just taupe as contouring and a nice um, nude creamy mouth. So stick around and follow the tutorial. Bye. Okay, so I already went ahead and applied foundation and this is the foundation I used, New Complexion. And the color is Natural Beige. Then I um, applied a cream highlighter. This is just a regular cream eyeshadow, but it's great for highlighter all over the tops of my cheeks and around here. And then I went ahead and powdered my face with um, Gentle Light Powder from Clinique. Oh, and before I powdered, I contoured, this is important, my cheeks. This is Café Glacé from um, Lancôme, and I just applied here the contouring a bit down my nose and here on the sides of my temples. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply Max Bear, I mean soft ochre in the paint pots all over the lid and um, so it's going to give it a base. Just put some at the bottom here. Okay, once you have that, I'm going to take like a fluffy brush. I'm going to take this one. Okay, this is just a regular fluffy breath brush and I'm gonna take uh, this is Brûlé from MAC so just dab it in and apply it here well really all over because you want to set that um, that paint pot okay once you have that I always line make a black eyeline um, eyeliner um, just to give me a base and I'm always gonna go over that black eyeliner with um, powder anyway with any eyeshadow but I just like to have it as a base so it sticks all day long and then uh, once we're used since we're using this black eyeliner you want to rim line the waterline the bottom one and the top one for a little too and just go all over like line it if it's better for you okay once you have that you're going to take um, this is a CK duo you're t and I'm gonna take this brown like toffee color which is very pretty very soft but kind of cold and apply it all over my lid with a MAC 239 going over that black and concentrating not making a half circle that goes up in the middle but something like this concentrating the color on the outside and maybe sometimes blending it in but you just want to tap it you don't want to with the dark colors okay do the same thing the other side of the eye. Make sure you go over that black eyeliner. Leave maybe this space a bit bright. Then you want to take uh, a, just a, you can take a, a, like a 224. This is a MAC 224. And you're going to go in with this darker, I mean, sorry, with this lighter color here. And this um, dew is called Mother of Pearl. I'm going to apply some in here, especially give you some light, and to the tops here, just a bit. I already went ahead and did my eyebrows, and so if you need to, uh, you can take Espresso for MAC, which I have, but I'm going to use this Kiko color, which is a, a dark a dark um, brown. You can use any dark brown. This is with the reddish tint. You're just going to apply some 
to the tip of your 224, tap it off, and just go here in the corner. And here too. To make it darker, give it a bit. And go back with that 239 and that mm, like taupey color here. Dab it in and just go at the bottom and gently apply some eyeshadow and then bringing it out because and concentrate most of your color on the outside part not so much on the inner part and just opening your eye going down a bit here especially here going down and blending it back up perfect then you take a fluffy brush and you go back um, I think it's best to go back with the brulee just apply it in. This is a MAC fluffy brush, a blending brush, any blending brush. And, you, and then you just want to soften out all, any of the harsh edges that you've just made, harsh lines, because the transition has to be very gradual. Okay. Then with that same brush, go back with that. It's not glittery. It's like shimmery, but it's like more cold than the brûlé and you just want to go in here to give a pop of light and then once again you can go in with that dark brown you can take another shade too and just concentrate it on the outside okay then once you have your nice smoky brown delicate eye concentrate it also at the bottom go back with that eyeliner and make another line so you're already gonna have a base and it's gonna be easy to draw in and making it a bit flick out and connect it tickle your bottom lashes a bit and connect it to that top line. great to that if you want to set it in you take a pencil brush and any black eyeliner I mean eyeshadow, gosh, okay, you dab in your pencil brush, this is the Kiko one, you can take carbon from MAC, and you just apply it on top of that liner that you've just made, and that's not going to go anywhere, here at the bottoms too, you just want to tickle your lashes, here at the bottom too, okay, once you're done with that, I'm going to take your mascara, and okay once you have that you want to take taupe from mac and this is actually the color they've used taupe from mac uh, 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 uh. this is a blush brush from mac swirl it in tap it off and just going right where you've already contoured that cheek with the cream blush you just want to add a bit But taupe is the right color for this look. Go down the nose a bit too. Taupe is the right color because they've actually I've looked I looked and they they actually use this. Okay, once you have that, I already applied um, almond nude to my lips from nude almond. Sorry, from Estee Lauder. I lined my lips with. Um, a Revlon lip liner and I'll put a link on the sidebar and now I'm just gonna apply some lip gloss to give it that shine okay and here you have the look number two of the Dolce & Gabbana um, ad